Yes, I am in the same clothes that I was in yesterday. <coughs> and that's because I slept downstairs. Um, I didn't go change. I'm gonna go jump in the shower once the house warms up a little bit. And I'm waiting for... Um, my neighbor to come pick up the cupcakes so um there's that um it's not cold in the house it's it's 65 so what oil we do have left and uh <clears throat> we have the house set to 65 which isn't bad um got like a little chill in the air but the fire helps it I had it up to like 72 yesterday just from baking and I was cooking in the oven and which I'll probably do today so so yeah I need to wash my hair need to wash my hair all right let me add water too I'll be nice do I have more coffee creamer okay I have one down there cool I'll have to get someone payday Huh. I'm not feeling life, y'all. I am not. Mm. I'm surprised. Last night, I fell asleep with this in my hand. With the lid off. I had the lid in one hand. And <clears throat> I was coughing and I was sitting up. And I opened the bottle, I remember I was like half asleep because I was trying to stay awake. Um, I was trying to stay awake because I put the last fire on and I wanted to keep my eye on it. So. Mm. Oh, I can taste today. I can taste much better. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I couldn't really taste much the last few days. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh, my God. Mm, oh, my gosh. Don't you hate that? You, know, you don't remember stuff? It happens to me all the time. What is in my... I put this in my bra last night because every time I blew my nose because this part is so sore mm. oh yeah I always probably like oh my god Ray you're so gross let me tell you this is all I got right now usually I'll be using Blistex or Chapstick let me tell you, I put chapstick all over my face because your face is chapped. And I don't know about y'all. I know a lot of people don't buy tissues. Hubby definitely doesn't believe in tissues. So... I had to use paper towels. I usually wet them. And then um, toilet paper to blow my nose. So. Oh. 
sweet dirty bean juice all right all right so i'm gonna wait for my neighbor go get my shower and all that good stuff so Fun stuff, fun stuff. I'll see y'all after bed. Loki is happy that I cleaned the fish tank this morning. I still need to finish adding water to it. But I cleaned the tank this morning. Thor is just happy as can be that he's got his blue mouse that I dug out that he loves. So he has been fighting with that. Tour, Thor, what are you doing? I don't want to say Dewey because I've been saying that because of stupid foodie. Like, where'd that fork come from? Aren't you just so handsome? You're so cute. You're so cute. Look at the baby boy. Wow, wow, wow. Get it. You get it. You get it. Can you Callie? Callie, he go, he gonna get you. Get to me, see. Get it, get it, you get it. Where is it? What are you doing? You're so toot. You're so toot. You're so toot. Door. You're so toot. Is Loki still over here? Look at him. Look at him. What are you doing? Over there in the fish tank. Callie, you exercising? You better than me, Nixie, baby. Nixie, where'd you come from? Hi, Nixie. Nixie, boo. Nixie. Nixie. Oh, Nixie. Where's your Missy? Get the Missy. You get the Missy. Give me the Missy. <laughs> uh oh! Did mommy come? Whoa, whoa! Mommy came through and got the Missy. <laughs> okay, time to rest. Okay, so I'm is in the process of making my breakfast. So I have an egg, cheese, then a little bit of cheese in between the sausage and the eggs and then cheese between the sausage and this is the Carb Smart 647 bread or 647 uh, tomato basil wrap. That's, I just grabbed that real quick. I know there's like a lot of egg on the plate, but I did that because when I cooked the eggs first, I put them on the plate, then I cooked the sausage, then I cooked the tortillas and then I like restacked them because I'm complicated. And my neighbor called me. She's like, oh, I'm on my way over. But that was like 10 minutes ago. And I'm like standing here like in my coat and everything. Like standing here in my coat like, where are you? <laughs> so. Sometimes. 
He is still at it with the eel. What's up, good people? Oh, is that like turning into a... Oh, it hurts so bad. I'm split or something. Um, it's 7 o'clock. And I have to make dinner. I was trying to take a nap. I laid down at like 5. And I was in the chair. And I was giving the cats like... Um, we still had a lot of delectables left over from Luna. And I haven't been wanting to mess with them like it sounds stupid not with the cats but with the treats because that's all we were feeding Luna and I just decided like we have them like she's not here she's not gonna eat them so now I'm just kind of ready it's stupid like it is but it isn't like it's like I looked at her food every day and like her last pack of Nulo. And I just look at it. And finally today, I'm just like, okay, today's the day. We're, we're going to give it to the cats. So I gave it to them earlier. And then, um, and then I never wear my hair down. Who's that girl? Na 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 Who's that girl? Okay, anyway. Um. <coughs> Hi, Nixie. The cats are ready for their dinner. But, um. But, yeah, so I finally gave them some of the delectables as treats. So, I did that tonight. <sighs> and then I was like, all right, well, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to try to take a nap. Because I was literally sitting there, like, falling asleep. Like, zoned out. But I just, I couldn't fall asleep. So, I'm like, so I've been sitting there hanging out with Brayden. And we've been bullshitting and stuff. So, but now, I need to feed the cats. And... All that good stuff. So I'm gonna feed the cats. I'm gonna start preheating the oven. Hubby marinated wings the other night. I don't think I'm gonna eat them because I don't like, I like chicken wings in the air fryer, not the oven. But Hubby swears that he can't eat wings in the oven or in the air fryer because they make him sick. So I don't make them. I'm not going to eat them in the air fryer. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm, I got other shit. I got salad, lunch meat, I'm good. So, I'm going to start getting that. Let me get the cats fed. So, we're going to do that first. Alright, I got my roasting rack covered in foil because it's my favorite thing to cook on. And people think I'm crazy, but the heat comes up from underneath and the food cooks just fine. So. All right, let me get the wings. All right, here's the wings. I am, um, like I said, I don't know what flavor pack he put on these, but he put something on them. I can't really smell, it just smells like chicken. Alright, where's my little tongs at? Oh, I think they're in the dishwasher. Alright, so I got my wings. I'm just going to spread them out. They don't look like they're really seasoned like that. I don't know what he put in here. But they don't look very flavorful, do they? It's like all the flavors on like this one piece of chicken or something. I scrape it off. I don't know. I'm gonna put some Montreal chicken on it. I'm just gonna just hit them with some. Alright. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna clash or not, but there's our chicken wings. I'm gonna put these in the oven. 
I'm one of those people, I don't really usually wait for the oven to preheat. I mean, the food can cook while the oven's getting warmed up, you know. The food can get up to temperature. They were in the fridge, so they can get up to temperature while the oven gets up to temperature. It's not a big deal over me. It's not a big deal. Um, but that's not going to be enough chicken wings, and it's not going to be enough chicken. So I'm wondering if I don't make... Uh, I feel like I should make something else. I don't know. I kind of want to make some tuna salad. I feel like I want to make my tuna salad with like the pasta. Mm. All right, so I'm going to make this box of pasta but I'm not gonna use the cheese sauce I'm just using the pasta so I just want the shells so I'm gonna boil these and I have a huge can of tuna fish now I need to get my vegetables all right so my pasta is already done it made a mess I gotta clean that pasta's done and now I got my celery and the tuna and I gotta cut my onion, so I'm gonna chop these up first. All right, so I got my eggs. I ch hard chopped up three hard boiled eggs, half an onion, celery. Now I'm gonna add my tuna. All right, now we're gonna add some pickle juice, our favorite pickles, spicy brown mustard, and mayonnaise. All right, there is my tuna macaroni salad, but I'm still gonna eat it on regular salad, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, my chicken wings just came out too. They're done. I'm gonna feed them up to the locals and see how they are. I'm not eating one of these, but let's take a bite of one of this, of some of this. Oh my God. All right. Let's take a bite. There we go. Ready? Ooh. Mmm. Holy crap. That is a little too perfect for me. I don't believe in coincidences. What I can taste? Thank you for the super chat. Once I do have some of my taste back. I'm here. Look myself. It's good. What's up, friends? It is one o'clock in the morning. Ooh. You would think I'd be asleep, but I'm not. Oh my goodness. My eyes are watering so bad. Hubby asked me tonight. He says, Ray, are you going to work tomorrow? And I was like, I'm sure. I was like, I was okay. <coughs> I said, I was okay this morning. He's like, did you take any day quill today? And I was like, I did. He was like, I took one. I was like, but it's this damn, my chest. Like, I keep, well, I don't mean to keep harping on it. Y'all know I'm sick. But I'm just saying, like, it's my chest and my back. Like, it hurts. And he's like, you should probably stay home tomorrow. He's like, I don't think you should go in. <laughs> I was like, all right, so I'm gonna email work. I'll let them know, but um, I put some more logs on the fire. So we got some more fuel tonight, some more oil. Um, but hubby doesn't want to, he doesn't understand why we ran out of oil so fast. So it's staying steady at 68. So he's like, we can raise it. Um, 
we could raise it to 68. I said 65. Ugh, I don't even want to yawn because my lip is so sore. But yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah. Like things are tasting weird too. Like I could I could taste stuff, but it just tastes really funny. And my voice has been going in and out like all day and I feel like in my chest <clears throat> and in my throat, I'll probably end up losing my voice. So, fun stuff. But yeah, I was going to do some questions, but <clears throat> maybe I'll do them tomorrow. I have a plan for tomorrow for my cake channel. <laughs> so I got most of the stuff that I want to do. It's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be fun. So, I don't know about everybody else, but I think it's gonna be fun. So, um, it'll give me an excuse to use some stuff. But yeah, so. I feel like this, this vlog was like really low energy and that's kind of just how I felt. I just felt like very low energy, like just, ugh, you know, um, I talked to hubby tonight. I went upstairs and I was like, you didn't bring your shakers home for your lunch and we got to chit chat and <laughs> and he put on the prawn and I just looked at him I said I am not trying to die and not be able to breathe and he's just like I know he's like but if you want to try it's like we're not we're not we're not doing that tonight I'm sorry <clears throat> but I was like if I can't go to work How he said he found another house he was looking at. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I just feel so tired, y'all. I just, I just, this is like really wearing me down. I need to set an alarm to get up at like 7, 7.38. <clears throat> so, but maybe I'll do questions and stuff with y'all tomorrow. <gasps> well, one thing I did wanted to tell you guys, I actually logged all my food today. And um, I did. I logged all my food. I'm not going to lie, I didn't get a lot. I mean, I got a good amount of steps in today, but um, not what I normally would. I think I got 6,000 today. But I laid in the chair, you know. You know, I mean, I cleaned the fish tanks and stuff like that and did laundry. And it's taken me a hot minute to get laundry done, but I still did laundry. But I did, I logged my food. And... I used to do the what I ate in a day things like whatever, whatever, like everybody else, but I don't stick with it. I never do because I can do it <coughs> on days where I don't have to work, you know, and I could sit down and edit the vlog the next day. But I think a lot of you know that I vlog 
that day I edit that night for you guys to have it in the morning you know and because I upload in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and I don't know if a lot of you guys know that like everything is like next day you'll see this vlog tomorrow but it'll be from today it's like this is what I did yes you know what I'm saying so um and you figure some nights if it's like a long vlog like I still go through and rewatch, and I'll like cut certain parts out unless I say it's like a lightly edited my members vlogs are unedited unless I'm doing my makeup and I burp or I fart or something by accident because sometimes my protein shake hits when I'm doing my makeup and they'll just rip and I'll edit it out. <laughs> but other than that, like my members get a raw dog, very minimal, lightly edited vlog. That's what they get. And they usually get that on the mornings of work. In the summertime, members' vlogs are kind of like on a vacation. Like, you know, try to get one out like once a week, whatever, whatever. Um, but during the week, it's at least five vlogs. Weekends are off. Holidays. Days I'm off. You know, I try to do members-only streams, stuff like that. But, um, which I haven't done one in a while. But it's so sporadic. I can't have a schedule. I can't. Because I'm told, like, at the last minute, like, I'll plan shit in my head. And then I'll say something to hubby or wifey. And they're like, no, we're da 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 And then I can't focus on that. On, you know, it's, my brain just doesn't allow me to. I'll hyper-focus on one thing, then I can do the rest, you know. So I don't schedule anything because I never know what's going to happen. So if I have a chance, I live stream to whoever I can want, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's just, that's just how I do it personally. So, but, um, but yeah, I can't keep with shit. I can't. It's rough, you know. My brain, like, I could, do, I can log my food, but I could forget to put it in the phone. Like, I used to log like the whole thing, but I'm like, I'm not doing. I'm just doing screenshots of the total thing. I'll tell you guys what I ate. You can believe it or not, but the numbers, the numbers won't lie. So today, I had. Um, well, you saw my breakfast. I had the tortilla with the egg, sausage, and cheese. And then for lunch, I had pepperoni with cheese. And then for dinner, I had a... I didn't um, oof, take a picture of it or vlog about it because wifey was downstairs. Um, I had the salad... With a tuna salad on top. And the wife, he goes, you're putting salad on top of salad. I said, it's a different kind of salad. I was like, people eat pasta, like, with salad. It's fine. <coughs> Let me tell you, they tore that whole bowl up. I only have two small bowls left. Well, it's like two cups, because those are one-cup bowls. But, yeah, I have two cups left, and it was a huge bowl. Wifey kept going and eating some. And then I did end up, I did end up making tater tots, but I didn't eat a lot of those. I only ate a couple of tater tots, like two or three. Um, cause I just really wasn't feeling them. I ate the first one and I was like, mm, and then Brayden gave me another one dipped in ranch, but I just didn't like how they felt going down. Like it hurt like my chest, like it was scratching. So I was like, mm, so he, I think he gave me another one, but I only had, I was like, that's, I'm not, I don't want no more of those. And he's like, okay. And, um, because the wings, it was only seven wings. I'm like, that's not going to feed them. Like, I mean, it'll feed them, but I'm just like, I'm not worried. There is one wing left. I gave hubby three and then wifey had two. 
Brayden had to, I think there was one left. Maybe it was eight, nine wings, something like that. I don't know, it wasn't seven, I think it was nine. Cause it was an odd number that was left. So, did I put his lunch in a bag? I think I did. But yeah, so I, um, so I did that and then I made hubby's lunch afterwards well i had to go upstairs and talk to him and see what he had because he didn't bring his shakers home and then i was like wifey will be more than happy to take the tuna salad so like i said so for dinner i had the salad the rest of my chopped salad with the tuna salad on top and then for snacks today i did have another stupid fucking pretzel but i didn't put buttercream on it today so there's that. Um, I did give some to Brayden. So I had a soft pretzel. And then I did get a tortilla with a zero net carb with some uh, jelly, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. So I was like, that. I don't think that was bad. So, but the, the jelly, of course, sent the sugars up a little bit in the carbs. But I'll, um, the fire is popping um i'll insert everything here all right so they're a little better today but the carb and protein numbers should be flip-flopped and let's look at the chart with all my fat and my carbs and stuff a little high on the fat today a little bit more than usual but i mean it really wasn't a bad day so yeah i don't think that was a bad it was definitely better. I feel like if I could if I could keep up with it, I definitely would. Because I can get competitive with myself and try to beat it every day. You know what I'm saying? But I know that there's going to be days where I'll have like my off days because, you know. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so. And I feel like once you see the numbers, you're like, oh shit. That's we're crazy. Because like when Stan Sansa cooks does um foodies way, like foodies things, oh my god. Her one meal to like was it today's mukbang? The one that she was deep throat in the she was like like <coughs> she was deep throwing the fuck out of them I was like holy shit but that mukbang was like it was just 2,000 grams in carbs in freaking car um not carbs um in sodium oh my god all that sodium and then i learned like i discovered for myself because i love pickles i mean you guys just saw me make all those cucumbers in the vinegar and stuff and then i just saw today when you have fatty liver which is what i had at cir a cirrhosis well i probably still have it but i take like um cholesterol medicine and stuff like that but i had cirrhosis of the liver which was non-alcoholic fatty liver and I had like all this other shit when they went in for my gallbladder um, not my gallbladder when they went in for my weight loss surgery they found it and it said people with fatty livers and stuff like that they shouldn't have apple cider or they have, shouldn't have vinegar and I was like really? I was like I didn't know that so I was like huh interesting Hmm. Who knew? So, um, but because we love some pickles. And I do put pickle juice in a lot of stuff. And I marinate my chicken in it. But I thought apple cider vinegar was better than distilled vinegar. Is there a difference? I don't know. I know, like, that one, what is it? That mother, um, isn't it called, like, mother apple cider? It's like the un 
I don't know. I think that's supposed to be good for you. I don't fucking know. I don't think half these goddamn people know. That's like I was online. Somebody sent it to me on TikTok. I don't know if it was a viewer or something. Um, so if you sent it to me, let me know because I don't know who the heck sent it to me. But it was a, for thyroid. And it was like, I took, do I still have to have the screenshots? I feel drunk. I'm sorry. Like, I don't feel right. Um, it's the best way. I just think, like I said, I just feel so tired and run down. Like, legitimately. Hold on. Let me see if I still have this picture. Also, whose comments? Like, what comments are, is foodie? deleting also if you watch my video go over to neo tarot and watch her video oh my god she she was on it oh my god look at this you guys mini biscuits and gravy y'all see that little teeny tiny like biscuits little itty bitty biscuits and gravy and sausage gravy do you know how good that would be do you know how hard, like, how much trouble you would get in eating that? Because even if you got, mm -hmm. you would probably only be able to get four biscuits. If you got a Grand's Biscuits, because they look like the flaky Grand's Biscuits and used a teeny tiny cookie cutter. <sighs> Maybe you can get four, maybe five <clears throat> out of a grand biscuits. So one, two, three, four, five. That's probably almost a whole damn roll of biscuits right there. <coughs> what was I looking for? I got sidetracked with the mini biscuits and gravy. Hold on, because as soon as I see it, I'm going to know it. Oh, here it is, right here. I was watching Foodie Booty. Um, drinking water from a copper cup. Have you guys seen this? This was, Somebody sent this to me on TikTok, but I didn't know who it was because I had to accept the request. And it says, drinking water from a copper cup helps kill bacteria, stimulate the brain, Regulate the functioning thyroid gland, soothes arthritis pain, boosts skin health, slows down aging, improves digestion, gets rid of anemia, and lowers the risk of cancer and heart disease. And then it's like, it's called, um... the galavanic cell oh so then there's like he was explaining it so I like took a screenshot of it like this thing here and it's then he said and I I'll do anything to help my thyroid okay soon as I learn a diet I'm doing it and I have to force myself to stick to it Oh, my ears just went so itchy. So, you take... Hold on. They're called some kind of rods. Because dowsing rods and started coming up and everything. But So, copper in your right hand and zinc in your left hand. And they're called a particular bar. If I remember, I'll take a screenshot because I have a pair in my cart. But you hold these in your hand and it's supposed to balance your body. Because one's negative and one's positive. I, I don't know. But they're supposed to make you, like, if you hold both of them in your hands. So I was like, and they're not that expensive. So it's like, yeah, I was like, I'll give it a try. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so I have them in my cart and I was like, that's actually like kind of really cool if it works but then like I started falling down that rabbit hole and I started like going down there 
And then there was something else, the castor oil stuff. I saw this a while back because I saw this woman, um, it was probably TikTok, she was live and she was making the castor oil packages or not packages, I'm sorry, but like pouches that you tie on. So apparently she was making like an apron type thing and you tie it on, but inside there was like a cotton cloth and it holds you take castor oil you don't ingest it but you pour castor oil on um on this cloth and you put it on your skin and then you tie the thing that the pad that holds it that holds the pad and um let me say the benefits of Castor oil, castor oil packs. So it stimulates lymphatic flow and enhances liver function, promoting the efficient removal of toxins from the body and supporting overall detoxification. Castor oil packs. It also has moisturizing, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory benefits. Oh, gosh. So then I started looking into that. Oh, look, here's one right here. Mm. I've been using a castor oil pack for the last few months, and it has made look. a huge difference in my digestion, cycle, and skin. Here's how you do it. I use the Queen of Thrones castor oil pack and place one tablespoon of castor oil on the organic cotton side of the pack. Let it soak in a bit and then place the pack directly on your liver. It's on your right side, directly below your rib cage. And then just chill out. Read a book, watch a movie, journal, scroll TikTok, whatever you want to do, and leave it on for 15 minutes, an hour, or even overnight. When you're done, remove the pack and clean off your skin with warm water and a little bit of baking soda. So... Oh, this is the lady I saw. Hold on. Is this it? Because I saw... Oh, is you not going to let me watch it? You're not going to let me watch it? <coughs> <laughs> it's on tiktok anyway but look up castor oil packs because now i'm interested how much are they my problem is is that i just forget to do it i'm gonna look castor oil okay castor oil So, yeah, the, oh, so the rods are called, they're right here in my shopping cart. They're called, oh, they don't say, what did I look up to find these? It just says pure copper and zinc rods, 10 inch diameter, scientific experiments. But they were also coming up because I used to have dowsing rods, which I do believe are copper. So a castor oil pack wrap for waist and neck is $7.99. Should I do plus size? Um, what kind of cloth though do I put it on? Cotton flannel, okay, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, these already have castor oil on it. 10 pieces. Castor oil pack wrap. Castor oil packs for liver detox. Highly absorbent. Self-adhesive castor oil wrap. No wash. Easy to use. Anti-seepage. Oil. Oh, oil not included. These are basically... Those are basically band-aids. What they are. Oh, 
the traditional version. But oh, they're no, they're big. I might add the card just so I don't forget. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna look into this and I'm gonna try it and see, see if it helps. But what do you put it around your neck for thyroid? Why would you put a castor oil pack around your neck? Aging, nourish, calm, inflammation, good blood flow, and help your thyroid. I know what I'm going to be doing. <sighs> but yeah, all right, guys. I feel like I'm just rambling. So I'm going to... Let me see if they have plus size. I did just Google plus size castor oil. I am not going to be able to get it right now because I am broke. I was actually thinking about revamping my Amazon wish list and just putting my waters my protein snacks and stuff like that on it and take the stuff off of braid it um oh no they do have plus size of course it's ten dollars hmm. but if it helps lymphedema Oh shit. That's great. But if it helps lymphedema and stuff too, then maybe. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Have the rods. We're going to be all jazzed up. Alright, guys. I love you all. Oh, so, 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 so very much. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I need to go check this fire and I'm going to start looking into this castor oil stuff. So, all right, y'all. I'll see you all later. I love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.